we need to talk about this page builder Brizzy and the newest updates they've introduced on their page builder. Now this page builder has introduced some new features that have never been introduced by any other page builder. So in this video, I'll be talking about these new features they've added to this page builder. Now the first thing they added was yesterday actually, but that I thought was incredible. In fact, this is their new design kits. Now this comes with more than 500 blocks to use right inside of your builder and the thing i love about these blocks i mean look at these blocks these blocks they're not generic looking blocks they're not ugly these are beautifully well designed super well crafted uh, blocks that you can use on your website so for example right here they have lights and they also have dark scheme as well so depending on what kind of style you want for your site they do have both so for instance right here i'll just say i want to add this block to my website and right here add a new block Maybe I want the feature section. So here I'll put in this and then go right here and click on this. And within a few seconds, I have just a beautiful website that I can sell to a client for a few grand. You know, in fact, there was a recent Facebook post. I'm not going to mention any names, but one of the persons was so upset that they made the website from a template and charged someone $9,000. It was actually another designer that was upset, not the actual client. The client was happy, but uh, whatever, you know, who cares? We want to make money. Now, these again are just really well designed uh, blocks. And I really think that um, if you're looking to kind of venture off and kind of maybe switch, make the switch from Elementor to Brizzy, uh, this can be a selling point. This can be a reason why. Now, it comes again with 500 new blocks and um, I really like the style of these blocks. They look great. So be sure to check out these new design kits. It's actually available on their websites. There's also a link below if you want to go ahead and check out the Brizzy Page Builder. And right now they still do have the lifetime available. I don't know when they're going to take it out. I know once they introduce the theme builder, I think they're going to go ahead and take out that lifetime option. So go ahead and lock it in as soon as you can. Now, another really amazing feature they've added was Google Fonts. Now, the Google Fonts are actually inside of the builder you no longer have to go scour the internet you know you no longer have to go uh, find a font you can actually download the fonts right from the builder so for instance right here i have the text and i want to say you know what i want to add a new font now these are the fonts right now i currently have and you can kind of see how they look but let's say for instance you have a google font that you always use and right here i'll just put in like a montserrat this one right here and say okay i want to go ahead and check this out and click on continue and done. Now you now have that Google font in your builder and you can apply it to any part of your website. So right here, I'll click on this, click on text. And now you can see right here, I have the new fonts located right inside of my builder. I no longer have to go hunt down fonts on, uh, on Google fonts, which I know can be a pain guys, cause your client might, might want something and they don't know what they want and they want you to figure it out. And it's just like, dude, you guys are annoying, you know? Uh, and again, uh, they also added the image filter. So another feature they added was the image filter. And here I'll click on filter and you can kind of design this and change it however you want it to look. And this is nothing new, but I do like the fact they've added this in. Personally, I haven't had a reason to use this just yet but I can definitely find a reason. In fact, this is way better than having to down the images, go to Photoshop, open Photoshop up. It's a total nightmare. So this is actually a really cool feature they've added in. Next is the downloadable link. Now check this out, check, check this out. This is really cool. Let's say you want someone to download something and you want them to just click a button and download it. Now we can do that with Brizzy. So here, let's just say I'll click on this button and then have this link. And now we have the file right here file and then just simply go ahead and say, all right, I want them to download an ebook on how to make a, 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 a what, what, what do those guys do on the, on the YouTube, the, the, the $5,000 a day or something like that. You can sell your ebook on that, you know, and, and then you sell for 199, you know, but they know how to make five grand a day, but they want to sell you a book that costs 199. I don't know, but there you go. So now you can see that if someone clicks on this, they can now go ahead and download that file. So that is uh, pretty cool. Now there is a default way to do this with WordPress, but I think this is just a little bit more easier and the user interface just makes everything a lot uh, more practical. Now I did write these down because there are so many. Oh, the new bre breadcrumb element, check that out. So for instance, right here, I have this right here. Now this can actually be like an introduction for your blog. I don't know, you know, but let's just say you do want to make this like a header for your blog. You can go ahead and take the breadcrumbs right here and just put it right there. 
and you can also design it. You can change the color. You can also change the position of this as well. So it just looks more professional. You know, I, I like that style. This looks really clean. I really do like this style. And another thing for you broke people out there who have no money at all, this page builder now has shape dividers for free in their basic version. So before, they had the shape dividers only available in the pro version, and now you can go ahead and download it for free, and you can also use the shape dividers. And I I was the one to actually mention this, and they gave me credit for it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, over here, let's go ahead and find them really quick. So over here, more settings and dividers on the bottom. So for example, you want to add in like a white one, something like that. And I don't know, you can make this squiggly, and you know, you know how it goes, you know how it goes. We need to make that white though, so it looks more more clear you go there you go now that's now that is a beautiful landing page you know like they should pay me to design this but I, i'm way too busy <laughs> i wouldn't have time for it so again all these features have been introduced on the brizzy the brizzy page builder and i think they have one more they have so now let's say for instance you want to hide something you're like you know what i want to go ahead and hide it i want people to see it right here you'd go to your tablet or your mobile and just say you know what um this this section right here i don't want people to see it and now it's disabled for that specific section. So instead of actually going to like the advanced features, uh, you know, uh, disable on tablet, now you can just kind of just go through everything and just say, and just click on it saying, I don't want that to show, this to show. So this user interface is beautiful. It's fast, it's quick, and they're really catching up to Elementor. And I really think the guys over Elementor are kind of eyeing this and saying, you know, we should probably do something here, you know? Now I'm gonna compare each page builder side by side. Now on the right side, you can see that Elementor just has very boring blocks. They're very ugly, they're not inspirational, and the UX is also not user friendly at all compared to Brizzy. Brizzy on the left side, you can see, has beautiful, vibrant blocks. You can use them on any sort of website, and the UX is actually much better than Elementor compared to the UX design with Brizzy. Now Elementor actually has way more features than Brizzy. It has a theme builder, it has a WooCommerce builder, it has a lot of other technical features that Brizzy does not. So if you are in web design and you have a business, I would probably go with Elementor there, but if you're someone who's brand new to WordPress and you wanna start a cookie website or something like that for your mom, or you wanna start a dog website for your dog, I feel that Brizzy is better because the learning curve is much easier with Brizzy compared to Elementor. Personally, my honest thoughts, I don't know why Elementor hasn't updated the UX design. It's been three years and they've never updated it once. They've been more focused pushing out features and page builders like Brizzy have kind of been doing both. So we're gonna see what happens with these two, but for right now, I think Elementor is better for people in the business and Brizzy is better for people who are just getting started out with WordPress. So that's my overview about both page builders. I think Brizzy is actually much easier to learn and the blocks are way better designed. Elementor has more features and there's a lot more you can do with Elementor. So we'll see what happens on these new feature updates. Also, I know we're talking about Brizzy here, but I will be having a new Elementor tutorial and I'll put that in the description below as well. So be sure to check it out. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy.